You ever served in an infantry unit, son? No, sir. Ever served in a forward area? No, sir. Ever put your life in another man's hands, ask him to put his life in yours? No, sir. We follow orders, son. We follow orders or people die. It's that simple. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Are we clear? Crystal. All those having business with this general court-martial, stand forward and you shall be heard. The facts of the case are these. On midnight of September 6, the accused entered the barracks room of their platoon mate. They woke him up, tied his arms and legs with tape, forced a rag into his throat. A few minutes later, a chemical reaction caused his lungs to begin bleeding. He drowned in his own blood and was pronounced dead at 37 minutes past midnight. Do you think Santiago was murdered? Private Santiago is dead, and that is a tragedy. But he is dead because he had no code. He is dead because he had no honor. And God was watching. How do you feel about that theory? Sounds good to me. I'll knock it all down to involuntary manslaughter. No deal. We're going to court. No, you're not. Why not? Because you'll lose. You want to investigate me? Roll the dice and take your chances. I eat breakfast 300 yards from 4,000 Cubans who were trained to kill me. So don't think for one second you can come down here, flash a badge, and make me nervous. Your men follow orders or people die. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth. Son, we live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. Who's gonna do it? You! That if this case is handled in the same fast food, slick ass, Persian bazaar manner with which you seem to handle everything else, then something's gonna get missed. In the heart of the nation's capital, in a courthouse of the United States government, one man will stop at nothing to keep his honor, and one will stop at nothing to find the truth.